I see so many people trading the one minute chart and trying to win big, but the truth is you only need 10 pips. Okay, so to scalp 10 pips consistently, we need something called a veg. This chart pattern is absolutely amazing, but why? Because every single time the market moves, it moves less and less until it eventually breaks towards the upside or towards the downside. So for the falling veg pattern to be considered successful, we need the break towards the upside. Now that we identified the falling wedge, in the indicators tab, type in moving average, we will need three simple moving averages. The very first moving average setting is 20 and the color orange. The second moving average length is 50 and the color blue. Last but not least, we need the strongest moving average, which is the length of 200 and the style is green. Okay, by adding moving averages, we have a different perspective. Typically, I look at the 20 and 50 moving averages for a nice bounce of the trend. But in this case, we have the 200 moving average at the bottom, meaning there is a strong 200 day support right at the bottom. Likely, it's not gonna break it easily. And we also have a forming falling veg pattern. And if we do break it towards the upside, it will be a much higher probability move rather than pushing towards the downside and bouncing off the 200 support, which likely will not break over here and push towards the upside anyway. So what do we do? Well, we wait for candlestick price action. And as we can see, a nice bullish engulfing candlestick has formed. This one minute candlestick move is so important for your profits. It's unbelievable. Why? Well, first thing, it crossed the 20 and 50 moving averages, which indicates that the short term trend has ended. Well, also this big blue candlestick is swallowing the previous red candlestick, which means there were a lot of sellers pushing the market down what happened next minute bias came through slapped them in the head and went towards the upside so with all that being said we understand that we should be entering on this candlestick price action right our stop loss should be just slightly below the falling wedge which would be around eight pips and take profit should be 10 pips as we discussed earlier so 10 pips over here and why 10 pips well since our previous top level was over here we want to collect profits slightly earlier just because we know that likely there's going to be a resistance over here right so there's going to be a lot of sellers in this zone so you want to kind of wait collect over here the 10 pips and then find another veg pattern if you can so let's just quickly analyze and see what happens it goes towards the upside very very nicely eventually reaches our take profit level and this is how you bank 10 pips however we are still missing a few key parts so keep watching okay now let's take a look at the opposite direction while also blowing your mind a little bit what i'm going to show you so we have a rising wedge over here it's the opposite of the falling wedge we are expecting a downturn in the market Market. market is clearly in the rising wedge because it's currently squeezing right every single time we should be expecting a push towards the upside or towards the downside when searching for the falling or rising wedge make sure to hide your moving averages for clarity but once you do find them make sure to add it on your charts to see what's going on so imagine being without the rising wedge for a second you would only see the 200 moving average over here you would see that it's respecting the market and probably gonna push towards the downside However, you could have been tricked because the market did push towards the upside and actually broke the 200 moving average. In this case, you could have been thinking that 20, 50 and 200 is now broken. Maybe I should buy over here for a nice push exhaustion push towards the upside. However, you would be totally wrong because the next candlestick is a indecision one and a red candlestick appears out of nowhere, piercing through the 200 and pretty much the 20 moving averages, which straight away could have stopped you out if you entered however what if i told you you could have predicted this move with volatility well let me prove my point i'll leave a link down in the description below to this website and it has volatility per hour well the average volatility per hour is 8.4 pips for this currency pair so what you want to do since this is the one minute time frame you want to connect 60 candlesticks until a full hour has passed so if we just align it Align the bottom and the top of the candlesticks. This was the 3 p.m. start. And this is the ending of the hour, 4 p.m. In this zone over here, we had the movement of what? 
8.1 pips, pretty much identical to the average pips this currency pair moves. So if it only moves 8.4 pips in an hour, likely the next move will be bearish. So as we can see, the market reacted to the volatility, the rising wedge, the 200 moving average in this case, and also pretty much breaking the 20 moving average. We should be expecting now a nice break towards the downside. So what do we see? Boom, yes, another candlestick that is bearish and totally broke out the 20, 50 and 200 moving averages. You now have a strong confluence for further pip gains. You have the rising wedge, you have the volatility in your favor and the free moving averages. Again, we can straight away take our profit, six pips to 10 pips. A setup like this looks ideal to me and let's see what happens. We have a push exhaustion scenario and it continues dropping down. Now, I showed you an example of entering straight away from the break because of the volatility and how great it is. And I usually do that just because I'm a little bit greedy. But typically what you wanna do is have a push exhaustion scenario, wait for that completion of exhaustion near the free moving averages. And if you find it, let's say with this nice shooting star over here, this is an ideal entry to go down. So this would have been the perfect entry in this point push exhaustion push kind of moving towards the downside it did have another exhaustion to the previous area sensitivity what happens goes down kind of retest the previous area zone so this is what you want to do always retest if it goes towards the downside pushes back up what should be the next move do you reckon well if we have a look i should be expecting maybe a pullback towards the downside over here or of the 200 moving average so a pullback around here until it actually breaks this area zone and continues moving down till our 10 pip gain so if you want to beat the markets with me make sure to join my vp trading group link down in the description below there's also a free trading journal and 28 chart patterns you need to know it's totally free and if you enjoyed this video you will likely enjoy this video over here it's slightly longer but trust me if you want to learn scalping this is it